we're going to do a little pencil drawing of pencils. Pencils are wonderful objects, wonderful tools. They've been around for a long time. Most of us have been working with them for a very long time. But they are also just such interesting shapes in their simplicity. This is a, a pencil drawing, a colored pencil drawing on black paper by Rhonda Noss, who has just such a lovely style. And she hasn't even drawn the whole pencil here. She's just allowed some of it to sort of disappear into the black mystery. But then what she does show, she shows in, in great detail. You know, this lovely little shadow here. It's just, um, again, it's such simplicity, but just so lovely. So I have here um, some pencils, and you can do this yourself and draw from life, which is always preferred. And uh, I'm a, a big uh, uh, lover of uh, glass, um, just be because of the way the, the uh, lights and darks fall and trying to get that transparency I always think is fun. Um, you can even have a little bit of fun with pencils. I have Mr. Clicky Man here. I call him Clicky Man. It's the toy that my grandchildren play with. Um, and so I took a little uh, sticky tack and uh, gave him a sort of pencil whatever here, which was kind of fun. So that would be one way to go, is to do uh, both of those in color, either from life or uh, from a photograph. But I'm going to uh, show a little, uh, one way to do it with uh, graphite, and that would be to convert the image to black and white. Now it's, it's, it's easier to convert it in a picture because figuring out Lights and darks and color is pretty challenging, but it's a good challenge. So if you're up to it, um, I recommend trying that. Uh, or if you want to start off easy on yourself, uh, print it out in black and white. And I'm going to approach this as uh, a drawing that I don't have a whole lot of time to spend on it, but I want to finish drawing. So that's tricky because there's a lot of detail there. So one way to do it is to to just find the groupings of lights and darks and maybe do one thing in detail and, and leave the rest uh, to the mystery, uh, such as the colored pencil that Rana Nas did where she didn't finish the whole thing and it's very appealing. So I started off with, I'm just gonna set these aside so they don't fall over. I have my trusty graphite pencils. I have one that's a little bit broad and fairly dark or soft, I mean, fairly soft. You don't have to have that, but if you do, that's kind of fun. And then one that's a little bit harder and sharper, and my trusty uh, kneaded eraser. And by the way, these get uh, dirty because we use them. If they get black and even hard, if they're not too hard, this is the way you clean them. You just pull them. It's a great stress buster. And then you have clean edges, so don't throw them out if they get a little bit dark because they can just clean themselves off. So what I did here was I did uh, just the basic shapes that I saw. So I clumped uh, the groupings of pencils into one big shape. And then I've decided that I'm gonna do this one pencil that's in the foreground. You can see that it's real sharp. I mean, uh, in sharp focus, it's also very sharp. Um, and the pencils behind them are a little bit out of focus, which I find rather appealing. So I'm going to uh, do that one in detail, but do the rest of them sort of coming and going with the lights and darks. The same with the uh, glass. glass. Um, the way to draw glass is to not draw it, to just draw little bits and pieces here and there, because that's the way we see it. So I got this, uh, I did the basic, uh, angles and shapes. And then I went in with uh, this uh, softer pencil. Now you could do it, you could do it with any pencil. And I wanted to get tone down in the big shapes here. And I'm going uh, horizontally with my strokes so that I'm not tempted to draw those pencils because I don't want to do that at this point. 
I want to truly get down shapes and not be enticed into getting to starting to draw it yet or to get into any detail. So once I had done a little bit of that, then um, I took the eraser and I took some of it away, which may seem a little silly to put it down and take it up, but I began drawing, so to speak, with the kneaded eraser. And once I had these darks down, then I was looking for the light spaces and putting those in with the eraser. And after I worked with it for a little while, this is what I came up with. You can see where I erased. I had the images down, or the shapes down, and I erased. And then I went back with the um, sharper and somewhat harder. This is an HB. I'm not sure what the, this is a woodless pencil and I think it's a little bit softer, but it doesn't really matter. Um, your, your pressure and your touch is really more important in getting uh, different kinds of results. So I went in and um, sort of found edges called lost and found edges. I sort of found edges here and there so that I'm not drawing the pencil, so to speak. I'm looking for these little, here I did one that's sort of, you can sort of see an allusion to a pencil point there. I may not do any more on that at all. I might focus in just on this one pencil and get it very clarified, and the rest will be kind of a fun uh, juxtaposition to that. And then the glass, as I said, you all we see, we don't see a continuous edge here. We see lights and darks that come and go. So the way to kill a drawing of glass is to do a very hard edge all the way around. Don't want to do that. Um, just look for those lights and darks. And they don't even have to match exactly. If you're close, it gives the illusion of a glass and that's really all you need and of course with graphite if you don't like an edge here or there you just take it up and try it again so when I get to this when I got to this pencil that I want to be very um, detailed and I'm going to put a piece of paper over where my hand is so I don't smear as I go along because this I'm going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to use what Rhonda calls the uh, airport appro airplane approach. I love that. I'm pressing hard to get coverage and darkness. And then as I move to the my left here, I'm letting up on the pressure so that I'm getting a lighter touch because that's the way the light is playing across this pencil. It's very dark here and then it's lighter here but it's a smooth transition. So I'm going down heavy on this side and then I'm lightening my touch. And then when I want, then I will go back. So I was doing a vertical, uh, this is cross hatching really, a vertical stroke here. Then I go back and do a horizontal stroke the same way. I'm. Uh, changing my pressure as I go along and I'm getting more coverage to get that dark edge and I will continue with that particular pencil probably to be quite detailed and representative and deciding which other parts I'm going to leave. So by working all across it Instead of finishing one thing, I'm working all across it so that at any point, it's an attractive drawing. So if the bell rings and the time is up, um, I may not have done every single element in detail, but it's still a pleasing image to look at. 